coming up on 440 right now. All week long, we're highlighting dirty jobs in the Low Country and how they help the community. That's right. News 2's Temple Ricky spent a day scrubbing mold and cleaning out a crawl space. Today, I'm under a house with Palmetto Environmental Solutions. I have my friend Mark here, and Mark, what are we doing? We are doing a mold remediation on a, underneath in the crawl space. All right, you guys, let's get started. Before crawling under the house, Mark explains the importance of wearing personal protective equipment. Um, some of the mold we deal with can actually burn you and can actually cause problems um, with your health, especially when you're inhaling it. So it's crucial to make sure to cover up from head to toe. But now we're going to go in. Welcome to the crawl space world. Under the house, Mark and his team inspect the area to see where to start the mold remediation. Up here, all of this is mold. The next step, you have to use this brush. Yep. We are physically going to scrub this mold off the wood and then come back and treat it. Oh my gosh. Yep. And you can see the cloud. I mean, all of that's yeah. that type of mold. After scrubbing the mold, the crawl space is put under negative pressure. As the mold gets disturbed and starts fogging up underneath the house, it's getting vacuumed almost out and pushed away from the house so we don't contaminate the inside. The process makes the house and living conditions much healthier. So I've had customers that have stopped using inhalers. I've had other people that have bluntly just said they feel wonderful. Um, they're no longer sneezing, coughing, being sick. Mark says if you're seeing mold in your kitchen or bathroom or feeling sick, it might be time for an inspection. Reporting in Charleston, Temple Ricky, count on two. Wow, big props to, t to Temple there for going underneath that crawl space. Oh, Good job, Temple. <laughs>